Yeah, so I'm gonna send this to my off note magazine here. You might have to click on that, yeah, that's why it's not. So I chose the title Off Note for a magazine as it connotes a sense of originality and being different from the norm. Therefore I came to the conclusion that this title would be an effective title for my magazine, as indie rock is a genre which is unique and outstanding in comparison to normal rock music. Um, the genre of my magazine. Um, my magazine genre is going to be indie rock. Through my research I found that the largest percentage of live music venues and bars in North London, such as the Boogaloo and Highgate, feature mainly upcoming indie slash alternative rock bands. Out of a random sample of 30 of the upcoming music artists slash groups who have performed in North London venues in the last three months, the majority, 27%, of the group slash artists um, played indie rock music. From this I can therefore infer that the most favoured genre of music in North London is indie rock. Um, well, there's my mood board. And my mood board also shows some of the key themes and colour schemes associated with the genre I've chosen. It's also in the um, uh, The purpose of my magazine. The purpose of my magazine is to inform people in the North London area about the indie rock genre, upcoming indie rock artists and the best live venues um, and indie rock concerts in the area. Uh, my target audience. The target audience for our magazine are white British males um, who are aged between 18 and 23. This is because through secondary research I found that the majority of those who listen to indie rock music are within the, are within the ages of those who go to university um, and who are studying A-levels or equivalent. Also, my target audience for my magazine um, are, are within the NRS social grades of d &E. This is because of the fact that the majority of my uh, target audience are students or just beginning their career. Therefore, this places them in this social bracket. Lastly, my target audience uh, must also live in the North London area. This is because my magazine will be mainly distributed across North London off licences and supermarkets. Therefore, availability of the product will be mainly for North London uh, residents to purchase on a regular basis. Uh, content. <coughs> Um, my magazine will include articles about exclusive features, interviews and Q&As with upcoming artists in the North London indie rock scene. This will enable not only upcoming artists to gain exposure, but also inspire audiences as well as informing them about the artists they see on a regular basis. I will also include articles regarding the best live indie rock venues in North London. I will rate these based on price, location and customer reviews. This is a major USP for my uh, for my magazine, as no other North London-based magazines display this information in one place and in such detail. Um, also, the magazine will include information regarding the history and future of North London in the rock scene. Um, lastly, the magazine will also include a social media section, which displays 10 of the, um, the social media comments, posts regarding key topics or comments about the magazine through platforms such as Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. Um, yeah. uh, this gets the audience engaged with the magazine as well as acting as a source of low cost advertising. Uh, the price of my magazine. Um, the magazine will cost £1.99. This is because my target audience mostly consists of students and those who are beginning a career. Therefore, they will not have a large amount of disposable income. If the magazine is priced um, too high, um, the majority of my target audience will see this as too expensive, yet any cheaper um, my, yeah, any cheaper. Um, the magazine's image may be damaged, as, as my target audience may see the magazine as substandard or as a lower quality due to its low price. Therefore I believe that my price is just right for my target audience. Uh, marketing methods. My primary um, source of marketing will be through social media sites such as Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. I've chosen um, to market my magazine through social media as it's a cheap and efficient way of reaching out to a large audience in a very short period of time. Um, also, my target audience of, are of a young technical generation, 18 to 23 year olds. Um, over and above, I will use leaflets and posters in order to promote my magazine. I will place these in the um, live indie rock venues in North London. Therefore, this increases the chance that my target audience will see the advertisement. Uh, this is also a cheap and effective way of 
of marketing my product to my target audience. Uh, distribution methods. My main source of distribution will be through monthly subscriptions. I've chosen to distribute through the source um, as this is the most profitable for the magazine. Uh, that is because you don't have to sell at reduced rate stores. <coughs> Um, as well as being very convenient for my target audience due to door-to-door -door service. Um, before purchasing, uh, purchasing through monthly subscriptions, my target audience will be able to purchase my magazine from off licenses in order to see if they actually like the product. Additionally, I'll distribute through North London off licenses. This is because there are many across um, North London. And through my research, I know that a large percentage of magazines are sold across the UK and are sold uh, through news agents. However, I will not distribute um, my magazine through major supermarkets such as Tesco um, as it may be costly to get the magazine to be stocked through this source of distribution. And because the budget of my magazine isn't very really large, this may, this may not be an effective expense. Uh, the personnel required. Um, for my magazine, I'll need a model, a photographer, a photo editor, a magazine editor and a magazine content writer. In order to cut the cost of my magazine, um, I will take on all of these roles but the model. This will benefit my budget in the way that no capital will be spent on hiring external personnel for the creation of my magazine. Uh, um, equipment list. Uh, to create a magazine, I'll need things like a computer, Photoshop, uh, to actually create a product, um, a, a DSLR camera so I can take the images, and also an 18 55 millimeter lens because it enables you to take different types of shots and some other accessories such as tripods and spare batteries. Um, uh, legal issues and resolutions. Uh, a major uh, legal issue for a magazine will be if the model doesn't give a permission for me to use their photographs in the uh, front cover or double H spread. Uh, to resolve this, um, I'll create a talent release form which gives the mag which enables the magazine to promote and sell the model's content. Um, another, maybe, uh, if private landowners uh, don't give permission for me to take photos on their property or land. Um, in order to overcome this, I will create a location release form and get the owner of the land to sign it. Uh, this terminates any legal liability between the releaser and the releasee um, in the case of injury, etc. Um, and the last legal issue is uh, you using others' images as my own. And in order to overcome this, I will ensure that I take all of the images first hand. Um, a font for my magazine, so they're displayed on the board. And uh, the lemon milk font, uh, sans serif font, uh, will be used for the masthead of my magazine. This is because it's, this is because it's bold, easy to read, and eye catching. This will be perfect when attempting to stand out amongst a saturated, mag saturated magazine section of news agents. Um, the code bold font, another sans serif font, will be used for the strap line and headline to my magazine front cover. This is because the font is easy to, easy to read, very eye-catching, and this should therefore catch the audience's eye, and, and they will be able to uh, see the types of articles and key content included inside automatically, rather than having to look um, among the, me the many different pieces of text on the front cover. Um, this consequently adds uh, to the, convenient of the convenience of the magazine for the reader, um, as busy and hard to read text may deter them. Um, and the last font I'll use for my magazine is the Roboto Thin Sans Serif font. Um, I'll use this for the body text for the articles in my magazine. I've chosen this font as it's simple and not overwhelming when used in large quantities. Um, this should make the, the font very appealing as it connotes in si excitement and simplicity which should make my target audience want to read on. Uh, so, I've, through research, I found that my main competitor is Q Magazine. Uh, the purpose of the magazine is to inform readers about the UK indie rock music scene, upcoming events and the current stars in the indie rock scene. Uh, the genre is the same as mine, indie slash alternative rock. Um, my tar their target audience is uh, British white men who are between 30 and 40 with an NRS social grade between A and C. Uh, the price is 390. Um, it's a monthly magazine and it's distributed through news agents, supermarkets 
and monthly subscriptions. Uh, Q Magazine will be, of course, one of my magazines, Ladies and Investors. Uh, this is because it's uh, one of the most popular indie rock magazines in the UK. However, this shouldn't have a large effect on the sales of my magazine, um, as my target audience um, it's, as it is a very different age, 18 to 23, and, and are of a completely different NRF social grade. And also, um, I'm, I'm targeting a more specific audience within a small region. Well, North London. And, um, and here are the initial sketches. Are there any questions? Thanks, Alice. Wow, thank you. It's really thorough research. Yeah, the proposal's great. Yeah. Um, you know you've got your month, you said it was monthly and it's one ninety nine. Yeah. I just wonder if because yours focuses exactly as the brief asks so heavily on venues and, and yeah, yeah. gigs and things like that, if it wouldn't be better to have it fortnightly because then mm -hmm. you would be able to get the dates right, you wouldn't have to be doing everything a month to six weeks in advance. Mm. Yeah, it so, could yeah. be up to date, uh, more up to date. Yeah, so that is probably an uh, improvement like in that. Yeah, and with that cheap price, two yeah. pounds a fortnight is still. Was that there are things about you know you talk about marketing and you didn't yeah. you you promoting all these venues mm -hmm. I mean your article is about the top three venues yeah. why don't you use those venues to promote your magazine so why don't you have mm -hmm. copies of your magazine in the venues yeah, or yeah. the venues selling your magazine yes yeah, so that's something that. I could do along with the posters yeah, yeah I mean that distribution yeah. Yeah. yeah it's interesting that you say that you wouldn't distribute out of larger supermarkets mm -hmm. and things like that it was because um well because. Um, well, through my research, I've kind of found that it can be quite costly yeah. in terms of well, going there, pitching it to the supermarkets, and also very time consuming as well. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, I mean, you've got to have that sort of, you know, absolutely defined rationale as to why you wouldn't do something, yeah. as opposed to why you would, you know, to expand your distribution, obviously. Yeah, yeah. You want to get it out to as many people as possible. Mm -hmm. So, to limit yourself, you know, you've definitely got to have that. Yeah. clear reasons as to why that's not yeah. going to happen. And I think that's fair enough. Mm. Yeah. And um, yeah, I, sort of, yeah, I know the Tesco charge to sell stuff, don't they? Mm. Um, you had quite a, quite a comprehensive equipment list. Yeah. Didn't you? <laughs> yeah. That was, do you like photography? Uh, yeah, I do. Yeah, uh, it comes through. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which was great. Um, you're going to need other, other bits and bobs, yeah. so you know, if you do have an equipment list, mm. um, make it as comprehensive as yeah. possible if you're going to go into that sort of depth. Okay, yeah. 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 So there's a lot of stuff on there that's possibly a bit extraneous yeah, yeah. and stuff that's missing. Yeah. I mean, you know, the thing that really kind of gets me is that there's no layout software on there at all. Yeah. Um, which is absolutely yeah. key. Key, yeah. especially if you're saying, well, I'm going to use Photoshop to edit yeah. my photos, which is fine. Yeah. But but you they've done other things as well yeah. because you're going to have to lay the thing out and yeah. then produce something that the printers can then take and yeah. produce. Um, your online presence, did, I'm not sure you talked about that. No, actually. What did you say about, oh, are, wow. you, are you having an online version of the magazine? Uh, no, no. Because well, oh, that was part of the yeah. brief. Oh, was it? Yeah, so if you read the yeah. brief, it's to do new online and print based magazine so you need that Again, part of fine. it yeah, so I, I think can. that's cool. you know it's mm. fairly crucial to have an yeah. online presence I mean this day and age it's so much yeah. there we go you have to have it mm -hmm. otherwise people will use it for mm -hmm. yeah. um, particularly with the nature of yours because that's mm -hmm. where you could update the details and you yeah. could update gig lists and guides yeah. and information yeah, on that's this. Yeah, so change on it. Yeah, so have a think about yeah. do you want people to subscribe to that are you going to are they going to be able to access limited content? Is it through a website or is it through a downloadable PDF? Or how's that going to yeah. work? So, what do you think about that um, bit? It'd be interesting to see if you could address the gender bias that's been identified mm. in the content. Y yeah. So, well, well, through research and things like that, I found that um, that, that males are the main yeah. are the main. That's fair enough. Absolutely. But did what I, I mentioned that. Is, yeah. yeah, you did, yeah. And, and that's why I, I yeah, yeah. noted it down. I was just sort of wondering whether there's a point there that you can use that very 
uh, fact yeah. to inform how you move your content forward and maybe yeah. push it out to different people. So, so yeah. you can, like I said, address that gender bias that's there inherently in the in the content yeah. um, and the genre. So that'd be something to look at. Um, yeah. I really like the ratings idea because it's the first time I've heard that anyone talk about rating and reviewing their news. Mm. Yeah. That's what you were talking about, I think. Mm. Yeah. yeah, so I thought that could be a key. Um, I think that's really interesting mm -hmm. um, because that's the one thing, if you're going to gigs, yeah. I don't know if you do, no, but if you're going to gigs, you know, venues such as these yeah. ones that you've got mm. here, apart from that's not North London, obviously, thank you. Ah, yeah. Um, yeah. It's interesting to know what they what, what you're going to see because that yeah. doesn't come up yeah. unless you're a good you know unless you're a sort of a seasoned gig goer mm. you know you, you, you won't know yeah. yeah and so it'd be interesting just another sort mm. of bit of information that can really yeah. you know underpin yeah. your proposal which is nice I thought so that was that was interesting as a point it was very good thank you Ellis that was great. Mm.